guys, have you wanted to stream live video capture through your Nikon D5600? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so I looked up how to do this with the Nikon D5600 on YouTube, couldn't find a video, so decided I'm gonna make my own after I figure it out from all of these other videos that I've been watching. So I'm a social media manager and real estate agent up here in Virginia. During COVID, we are obviously all doing more Zooms, we are doing more classes, everything. And I am teaching agents how to do open houses, how to do virtual meetings with their clients. And we want to use the equipment we have and we want to upgrade as we have funds. As we know, we may have funds for different creative adventures and gear at all different times and all different levels. So I encourage you, use what you have, upgrade when you can. What I have is the D Nikon D5600. So I'm going to show you how to do it here. My son um, did help me, 21 year old. Thank you very much, sir. Um, he helped me order this video capture card. Um, Card, excuse me. So this is the vid box, vid box capture. I did have to get a mini HDMI cord. What is a mini HDMI cord? Great question. So that is this cord. It goes in this side of the camera. It's just a little bit smaller port. When I pull it out, I do lose my live stream here. So just keep that in mind. The other side of the camera has a port for a microphone. If you have that an external, and it also has two other ports. One of these is gonna help you transfer a video and pictures into your um, computer. Why doesn't that cord just work? Why do I need this capture cord and mini HDMI? I don't know, be on my level, but you do. So we've got that and we are ready to go. So a couple things um, first is our setup on our camera, the back of our camera. I do have to pull the mini HDMI out in order for you to see this part, okay? So I'm gonna just turn this just a little bit so you can see, we do need to go to menu. And in the custom settings, you will go down. So custom settings, you're gonna slide down to C. Autofocus, exposure C. Go into here, come down into C2. Come on over, go into custom, the bottom. Short normal custom live view i have it set for 30 minutes that's the longest you can have it make sure you've got it there why is that important then you can stream for 30 minutes okay how do you trick the system lovely rubber band that's how we trick the system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this rubber band put it over the shutter release button and get it halfway down into focus this other rubber band or any piece of plastic or whatever you rig up is going to then hold it in place. That's how that works. Did you hear it focus? That tells you you're in business. Make sure it, it, it does have to stay down or you'll lose it. Okay, so great. So we've got our, let's plug in our mini. We're gonna have to reset it every time we unplug this or switch cameras. So just know that, keep that in mind. Plug that in, we're on and we are ready to go. Okay, now let's go back to our laptop here. And we are going to check, it is on video vid box. So that is coming from the video box. I am going to have to push the live button again. Okay, so where is that? Right over here. It is, pull this back, pull the shutter speed off, pull it back, you hear it click. Now I'm going to place the rubber band, refocus. I will not see it in here, but I will see it right here, back here. As you can see, that is completely out of focus. That is because I was moving it. I had it focused on the ceiling. So let's focus. There we go. Check that out. How much better does that look than if we just use our regular camera? So I'm going to go back to our regular camera. Dang, what a difference. Again, every time I switch cameras from here on a Zoom call, I'm going to lose that. So you can use some other software where you're not going to. It's if it switches, it, you lose it. So that's how you do it. That's how you can stream live for more than 30 minutes 
on the Nikon D5600. As you guys know, keep creating content, so much value, telling your story, being that helpful expert, and as always, have an amazing day.